G'day viewers, thanks for watching the Spontaneous Collection Recycle Channel. Today I'm scrapping a CD-ROM drive for its high grade PCB, copper, steel and a surprise neodymium magnet. Now first of all, grab yourself a CD-ROM drive, preferably a faulty one or out of the scrap pile. Take the cover off, four screws will get you access into the unit. You may need to pry the front plastic face off. To do that, get a screwdriver, a flat blade and just get in that notch and pry it apart. Don't be afraid to use some force because we are scrapping this after all. Off comes the metal plate or the bottom cover and exposes the innards of the unit. Now uh, those boards, those green boards are high quality PCB boards. They fetch the best value on the scrap market compared to any other board. Carefully remove those. Detach the ribbon cable like so and put the high quality or the high value PCB board aside for later. Now we need to separate the functioning part of the CD-ROM drive from the metal outer cover. Now that case is a light gauge steel, off that comes and exposes the rest of the unit. Just pry out the CD-ROM tray, that's the bit that comes out to let you put the CD-ROM in and put that in the ABS plastic pile. Now these four screws will separate the mechanism from the rest of the drive. Now this mechanism is where the neodymium magnet is actually hidden. Don't throw anything away yet. Just continue to separate the metal from the copper. And here I'm separating some stainless steel from the mild steel as well. That there is a copper motor, put that in your copper motor pile and another bit of copper winding there, too fiddly to separate. So here we have high value PCB, some copper, steel, magnets which I'll show you later and ABS plastic. That's pretty simple. Now don't forget, keep the optical mechanism because that's where the neodymium magnet is. This is what it looks like. That's the bit with the laser inside it and the little glass bulb or bowl or the lens. So if you want to see how to get into that, watch my other video on stripping a CD-ROM drive for the neodymium magnet. I'll give you a closer look at that in the next video. Thanks for watching, much appreciated. See you on the next video.